Hey guys, and welcome back to our show. We got a great lineup for today. Before we get going, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can get all the latest content and updates from Power Mechanical. So I hope you had a great holiday and ate plenty of turkey and your bellies are full. And today we're talking about some bellies that I hope are not full, and that's in your boilers as we talk about scale. And we're doing it right now. So last week we looked at six common reasons for boiler problems. Of these reasons, we talked a little bit about boiler scale. If you've spent any time around a boiler room, then you've likely heard the term used and hopefully you understand the potential risk associated with not properly combating scale inside a boiler. Efficiency is ultimately what we are striving for in our boiler rooms. A surefire way to reduce efficiency in a boiler is to allow any accumulation of scale. As I've mentioned before, scale serves as an insulator. The last thing we want to do is put an insulator on the heat transfer area or either of the fire side or water side of our boilers. Looking more at the subject of scale, what exactly is boiler scale? First, understand that water is known as the universal solvent and can dissolve numerous compounds. Water is constantly changing states on, above, or under the Earth's surface in a continuous process known as the hydrologic cycle. As water permeates through the ground, it's absorbing minerals and even solids that will be dissolved into the water and practically invisible to the naked eye. The mineral and solid content in this groundwater can vary from place to place and this is why it's important to have specific water analysis done for your steam systems. So this groundwater, which conversely will be pumped back into the systems to be used as makeup water in our boiler, will still contain these minerals and dissolved solids. Once inside the boiler, the water begins getting heated, creating evaporation, leaving this, these minerals and solids behind. As this continues, the concentrations of these minerals and solids crosses the solubility limit and the results are uh, precipitate and scale deposits. So the scale is generally formed from the salts inside the boiler water. Commonly, these are made up from various amounts of silica, aluminum, iron, calcium, magnesium, or other carbonates and sulfates. So these can be very difficult to remove and it's better suited to combat these through pretreatment of the boiler's feed water. So boiler scale accumulates over time and the longer left unattended, the bigger the problem becomes. Think of this as barnacles on the hull of a vessel. As barnacles increase on the ship's uh, exterior walls, the engineered design of the hull is changing and it begins creating resistance or drag in the water. This resistance in turn creates excessive fuel consumption for the ship. Likewise, as a boiler's tubes begin to accumulate scale, the heat transfer decreases drastically. The more scale, the less efficient. It's estimated that for every 16th of an inch of scale on boiler tubes, there is up to 20% decrease in the boiler's expected efficiency. Once scale has begun to accumulate on the boiler's tubes, chemical pretreatment and blowdowns alone may not be sufficient to reduce the scale formation. Boiler tubes can be cleaned with an acid in order to break down the scale accumulation considering the tubes are still in satisfactory condition. Now these dissolved solids that we spoke of earlier, which can include traces of even sand, silt, clay, or even mud can accumulate as well and will eventually remain in a form of a sludge. This is often referred to as mud, hence the reason for what's known as the mud drum of the lower section of a water tube boiler. So both the sludge and the scale can be properly attended to by performing blowdowns and having a strategic water treatment program. This could include a combination of softeners, dealkalizers, deaerators, and of course, chemical treatment. It all just depends on what your area's water contains. Get a water analysis performed by a local water treatment company and make sure and perform those blowdowns daily at a minimum. All right, guys, well, there you have it. I hope you liked this show. And if you did, be sure and hit that thumbs up button. Also make sure and subscribe to our channel. Other than that, we'll see you next week for another Steamworks.